Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Tuesday, December 17th, 2013. I am astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. This is the last week of my holiday gift sale. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you want to give the gift of a one-on-one -on -one reading with me to you, a friend, a lover, who knows. This is Uranus coming direct in Aries, so who knows about that? <laughs> you know, we are coming into this wild, unique, powerful electric storm turning back on. And I'm looking at this as a very positive thing for you because this can be you getting some of your mojo back. You know, sometimes this is like, whoa, I got my mojo back, baby. Woo, what is this? Like, sometimes we get to this point where we're like, I don't know about my life anymore. Maybe I'm not gonna turn this or maybe I'm not gonna go over here and then wham. It's like, oh my gosh, what is this now? And this is about our individual identification, ourselves, getting back on the road, getting back on the horse. And when we're in Sagittarius time, this really, this really does add to the fire. You know, with it coming on in Sagittarius, this is about our big adventure, our big journey. And we're coming off a full moon in Gemini, which is going to slip into Cancer today. And the moon is pretty much full still today. So I'm sure you have been feeling this energy really come in. And with Uranus today, it comes on even stronger. It's like... What is this feeling? But the moon is going to come into Cancer today and it's going to be part of a big cardinal cross that's starting to form. And as we step into tonight, we're going to go through a lot of different feelings throughout today. You know, this excitement come on and then navigating this excitement and not letting, you know, this new energy overwhelm us in our inner world because today, I think that our outer world finally starts to connect to our inner world. It's almost like these two have been very disconnected from each other. It's like you're trying to get things in your outer world done and you got your inner world good or you've got your outer world great and your inner world bad. You know, there's this like, how do I just get all cylinders to fire here and get back into just the flow? And it is the flow today we must find. We must not get over emotional today over maybe what direction to take or, oh my gosh, you know, maybe you're afraid to step into something, you know, or maybe you've got a plan and it's not coming together right and you, you're trying to get it done. I think today, let's allow the electricity to turn back on and allow your feelings to go inward, you know, and really look at the better picture. It's about the better picture. It's about not getting so clumped up in, you know, drama or th events or things that are happening in this world. Like you're having to like disconnect and step outside and make sure that these emotions don't drown you as we're learning to grow. We're learning to, you know, get back on the road here. So today's a day where we get back on the road, but it's almost like instantly, you know, we get tested right away. Like, oh my gosh, like, am I going to fall off the horse? Like, no, you're not going to fall off the horse today. It's whether or not your emotions decide to fall off the horse or play baby or anything like that. Even though I don't think people are going to play too much of a baby, but I definitely think with a full moon switching into cancer like this in the middle of a huge karmic storm that's brewing and with Uranus today going direct, I mean, this is a huge day. This is one of those days where I think you're going to feel more different than you have in a long time. I think you're going to be like, wow, what was that? And it feels good. It can feel good, especially as this is fire kicking back on and this is electricity in your life to get you back on your road. And it's, you know, the road that I've been talking about for the last year, the road of truth, the road of your individuality, breaking apart your old rules, your old, you know, systems that are just holding you down and, and forcing you to find new comfort levels in this. And it's today, these new comfort levels of getting back on the horse. It's almost like you were uncomfortable not being on the ride, if that makes sense. And then today you get back on the ride and you're like, I'm uncomfortable being on the ride. It's like, oh my gosh. Pick what side and it's okay. We're all going through it. But that's going to show you these heavy lessons that we're learning as Saturn and Jupiter are in a trine. The universe is having us learn so much about our expanding of emotions. So of course, we're gonna be emotional about peeing and pooping and then walking outside to get the newspaper. Like what? It's like every little thing triggers an emotion and that's good. So, you know, like, because we're off the horse and now we're back on today, you know what? It's okay for you to feel different. It's okay for you to maybe have to adjust to these new feelings. It's today where we listen to, 
you know, our sensitivities and we, we kind of go with the flow. I think it's about letting things happen. I think with the way that the planets are bunching up right now and that the, uh, there's this pressure brewing, it's like, this is a very unique window to have an opportunity for you to allow things to happen and to get, you know, comfortable in this new energy that's coming in. And, and that's what this is about today. Adjust. Kind of learn to go with the flow and adjust. You know, don't adjust by making it only think that you need to have one way to feel good today. Because if you are one of those people that's like, if it doesn't happen this way or that way or this way and it doesn't feel right this way, you're going to have one of those days where it's not going to be good. It'll test you. One thing about Uranus is it'll either give you like the greatest, greatest day of your life or it'll throw you on your ass and beat the crap out of you and leave you with a bruise on your face. And you'll be like, what? So I'd hate for you to go into that feeling, but we have to make sure that we go with the motions. And as we step back on this horse, we remember our courage and our confidence because that's what's turning back on, our knowing of the road. Even though if we're a little still confused is, oh, how am I gonna get there? Because Mars is in a very weird position of the midpoint of Neptune and Chiron. And this is like, oh, do I know the road? I kinda know, I really wanna go here. How is it gonna happen? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I know the steps, but there's this feeling of like, you can be lost in it all, or every direction you take, you then move into another direction, and then that direction. As long as we're just moving today forward and going towards that larger end goal, that's all that matters, you know? That's all that matters. This is one of those days where it's just about, be thankful that you have this new feeling coming back into your life today, this electricity turning back on. Be thankful for this feeling that comes back. And because we do have a lot of Capricorn energy building and we've got Venus stationary ready to go retrograde, you know what? What can we manifest with this new electricity coming on today? What can you get ready to go for this chapter that's about to begin? Welcome to the entrance of the new party. Although today, we, we're, we're just getting in it. Doesn't mean that we need to be eating the steak dinner, wiping our tongue off, eating the butter, and you know, telling gossip at the table next to us. This is us still walking in. Let's, in, let's enjoy this new portal that we walk into today. You know what? Maybe you'll make it to the appetizer plate, but you know, I think for a lot of people, it's just the whole understanding, the glitz, the glam, the change in the emotions from leaving this outer you know, line that's outside and moving in this in-world world where it's like, wow, okay, but I don't know, how do I deal with this, you know? And, and that's where we go, because as we step into tonight, the energy gets intense in a different sort of way. And, you know, it could be, don't let yourself get over pressured that you're in this new world or this new energy. And you're honest, you never know what the, 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 the lesson is for you spiritually today, but allow it to happen and go with it. And test your strength. Use your strength for your advantage. I think that's part of the test and to make sure that our emotions allow us to do this and that you don't let your emotions run the whole show today. Because in many ways, we need to see the big picture about our life. We need to focus on our optimism, focus on our hope, focus on our positivity, and light up the road that we wanna go for in our life. And this is a full moon that brought us in here. So it's, a, it's an intense party that's about to begin. And you know what? If you've been watching my horoscopes, you know we're talking about relationships. This is something that's gonna be getting ready for this weekend. So. Enjoy this little in-between phase here as we're, we're going to deal with getting on this new road here in our own individual ways before we all meet up in the middle and pick on which team we're all going to be on. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. If you want to get a one-on-one -on -one reading and my classes are going to be available for download tomorrow, I finally got all of the recordings. If you did get the classes for the live version, I will be sending you those tomorrow. So everything will be up tomorrow. It's going to be really exciting. So check back in tomorrow for the horoscope and for all the new cool stuff that'll be on the website. Thank you guys for all of your support and I will see you tomorrow.